If you like tacos like me, I'm gonna show you how to make the best baked beef taco. So get in your kitchen, let's go. All right, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe. Let's do a quick rundown. Of course, we're making tacos, so not that many ingredients, but all the usual suspects, like our taco shell, our ground beef, onions. We have taco cheese here. We have some black beans, I've drained them. We have some cream cheese here. We have some chopped tomatoes with green chilies and cilantro, beef broth, and our taco seasoning. So guys, that's all we need. Let's go ahead and continue. So the first thing we're gonna do is start preparing our bacon sheet. And what I'm using is I'm using the stand and stuffed taco shells. I like those better with, you know, when we're making tacos like this because they typically stand on their own. And we're just going to start adding them here to our bacon dish. See, guys, how they just stand up. It just makes it so much easier to deal with. I'm going to see if I can get two right here. Yep. So that will work. So right there, I have, what, six, eight taco shells. And depending on how big your... Your baking dish is you can you know fit 10 i have two left over so all right so i've already preheated our oven to 400 degrees so what we're going to do is we're going to stick these in the oven just like this empty and we're going to let them sit in there for three to five minutes now if you have a dark colored baking dish you want to leave it in there for three minutes something like this glass do it for five minutes all right but it also depends on how hot your stove is guys so make sure you check on it. all right let's get them in the oven all right, so we're back after five minutes. You can't really tell the difference because we put them in the oven, but I like putting, you should always put your taco shells in the oven because it just gives it that a better crisp when you bite into it. It breaks real nice. And even sometimes if your tacos, sometimes you buy taco shells and they're stale. If you put them in the, the oven before you uh, eat them, it helps them crisp up. So it brings them back to life. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this aside and we're gonna head over to our cooktop. All right, so now we're at our cooktop. So what we're gonna do is start adding our ground beef. Now this is a pound of ground beef. We're just gonna add that in here along with our onions. And we're gonna cook this until brown, meaning we're gonna cook it all the way through, guys. All right, so it looks like we're there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pause the heat and I'm going to remove this, go ahead and drain it, drain all the grease out of it and come back over. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding three of our ingredients, like our diced tomatoes, our beef broth, and our taco seasoning, of course. And we're going to heat this till it starts to simmer. Guys, and don't drain your can of tomatoes either. You don't want to drain those. I'm going to add a dash, a little bit dash more beef broth here. I started with a fourth of a cup. So this is a little over a fourth of a cup. All right, so we're about three minutes in right now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our cream cheese. You want to make sure that it's softened, so you want to have it around room temperature, and we're just going to mix that in. Now, guys, you can omit the cream cheese if you want to. Some people don't like cream cheese, but for this particular recipe, it really works well, at least for me. All right, so we're going to continue to stir this, let it cook for an additional one to two minutes to get it all incorporated. All right, so we're about two minutes in, so let's go ahead and pause our heat. And we're gonna remove this from the cooktop and we're gonna bring our taco shells back over with the cutting board and we're gonna continue from there. All right, so we got our taco shells back. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our black beans here and we're just gonna start spooning them evenly into our taco shells. Start off with a, just, a, just a few of them in the beginning, that way you can make sure you distribute them evenly. All right, so now that we have our beans and our taco shells, we're gonna do the same thing with our ground beef mixture. We're gonna start spooning that on the top of the beans. And guys, you can make your tacos as meaty as you like. I definitely like my tacos real meaty.
All right, so now that we have our ground beef, we filled it with ground beef, and here comes the star of the show, which is our cheese, which makes tacos, oh man, so good. We're gonna start. And that's another thing, I like my tacos cheesy too. Right here I got about a cup and a half of taco uh, cheese. You know, you may need, you, you could probably use less, but I wanna make sure I have enough All right, so now our tacos are complete. We have everything inside. So I've already, remember, the oven is already preheated to 400 degrees. So now we're gonna stick them back in there for seven to 10 minutes until that cheese starts to melt. All right, let's go ahead and get them back in the oven. And guys, this is what we have about seven to eight minutes in the oven. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some fresh cilantro. You know, we like to get it maybe some color. All right, guys, so this is what we have. So let's go ahead and continue with, there you have it, oven baked beef taco. Guys, let me know what you think about this recipe in the video description below. Great recipe to have for your gathering, family, friends, you're gonna love this one. So let's go ahead and get into quality control because I'm ready to try one of these babies out. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so we are here for quality control. You already know, and I did get me some shredded lettuce, man. So I'm gonna add some of this shredded lettuce to it because I like lettuce on my tacos. And of course, I have some taco seasoning too. We're not gonna forget that. I'm gonna add some of that. Oh, man. And I only just put one on the plate, guys, so you take a look at that, what we have. All right, so let's go ahead and get this baby a try. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. Mmm. Wow. I mean, it's a taco. I have a little taco. I may be overly excited, because I always get overly excited by eating taco. But man, this is good. Mmm. So until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli. This is All Wings Everything, and you already know. Ain't no chef. I just cook a lot, guys. And now I'm out. Peace.